I'm back with the hair video. It's been a while. I say that every time because every time it's a while. But uh, welcome back. All right. I'm Shree Wallace. Excuse the hair. I just washed it, conditioned it, and we're about to style it. But I'm Shree, Shree Wallace. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. And thank you for joining us. If you're an OG here, thank you. Thank you for your loyalty and your returning as always. All right. So... Today we're gonna to be using a new product by The Do. So, The Do, there we go. It's her B-Girl collection. This is her Honey Curl Custard. So, I don't really use custards. I only use creams. Um, I don't really use gel, but she has a gel that I absolutely love and I use her foam as well but she has a whole new collection b-girl and then she has her original collection this is the one i'm using this so it says it hydrates protects defines even the tightest curls with no crunch or flaky residue and it contains catatonic honey aloe vitamins b c and e keratin silk amino acids apply to clean wet hair in small sections my hair is pretty wet Break through with fingers to clump curls, hood dry or diffuse until 100% dry and then fluff as desired. I did watch her video and she said if you want more hold, use less water. I think I'm saying it right. And if you want like less hold, use more water. And I haven't used it before. So brand new, really gel-like, kind of snotty. Um, yeah, so... I am going to do a wash and go and probably style it at the end. I'll see if I like it. Okay, so my hair is pretty wet. So I'm going to put this across my lap because this water is cold. So small sections, like I have to do small sections because, yeah, I have a lot of frizz. So I want to make sure I get every single piece of frizz, lay it down. Okay, so I am going to start off probably with, uh, it's kind of hard to grab. Oh, probably start off with this much or not. Okay, we're gonna start off with this much. It feels like it has honey in it, like a thick, really thick consistency. So usually I like to just smooth it in first, like any product that I use. And then I like to go in and kind of separate everything, detangle it. I will use my brush, but I'm trying to keep keep um, all the manipulation to a minimum. Make sure my ends are smooth. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and just pull I don't really like to um, wrap it around my finger because of shrinkage. I get so much shrinkage. So we're just gonna pull. So I still see some frizz. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more because I wanna make sure I don't have this frizz. So I'm gonna add some more. And I'm just gonna rake it through and see how that does. Okay. 
Okay, that's a little better. Like now you can kind of see the individual pearls. That's a little better. All right, so we're just gonna keep going. See how this turns out. I might add more water on my head because I don't want like a really big hold. I mean, not big, a really serious hold. So I think I'm gonna add more water as I go. So I finished this side of my hair and I kind of switched it up a little bit. Um, instead of me just pulling, I would go, well, I'll do this one. So I'll take a piece and then just twirl the ends instead of twirling the whole thing. Just so I get that more defined look at the ends because my ends tend to be a little frizzy. Even though, when, even when I get a trim, like I literally, I just had a trim, but my hair tends to be on a frizzy side. So yeah. I am going to start on this side and I'll see how if I like how it looks styled like this when it dries but if not I might change it up the the um, style of it Okay, so we are done. This is how it looks. Um, haven't dried it yet. Let's 
So I'm going to sit under a hooded dryer and let it dry. Um, try to get it 100% dry before bed, but we'll see. And then I'll come back on here and show you guys. It might be the next day because it's getting late, but I'll come back. Okay, guys. So I am back the next day and this is how it looks. Like, you see how shiny it looks? It, it looks shiny. It looks healthy. It looks... It looks like she knows what she's doing, okay? She she's good. She is crispy. <laughs> she's a bit um actually mm, some spots are a lot more crispy. Well, I wouldn't say crispy. It has a hold. That's the word. It has a good hold. Um, as you see, I don't have as much frizz as I started out with when um you saw my hair. You know, when it was freshly washed and all that. I used her push it um, edge control. And what else is this? This is an edge control, and you can use it for braids and like ponytails and stuff like that. And you see this? Like, it's not going anywhere. Nowhere. Smooth. Like, my hair has never looked this smooth. Okay. Just saying, edge control usually doesn't work for me, but just push it. It works for me. And it said use on dry hair. So I waited until my hair was dry. I put it on. You can see how slick that is. Just saying. So get you some B-Girl. All right. And get you some push it. B-Girl custard. Push it edge control. Um, and braid gel. And this one is your typical, like, edge control braid is really thick really thick but yes it's i don't know it looks i love it i really do so i would definitely get this again definitely keep using it for my washing goes and yeah that is my review for b girl by the do all right so thank you guys for watching i hope you come back for the next one and i am going to give um my second trimester update for those who've been following my pregnancy journey. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.